Well, hi there, everyone. Farm Sim Gamer here, and welcome to my course plate guide to harvesting. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how some of the new features in course plate can be used for those all important harvesting tasks, including combining with self unload, baling, and a couple of options for bale collecting. Now, course play is still under development at the moment, but they've introduced some new features which I really do think uh, can help you improve your efficiency, uh, work and enjoyment of the game. Now, as you probably gathered, we're here on Carmsden Farm um, in field six, which is opposite the uh, cattle farm and the bale sheds here. And we're going to use this for a little tutorial today. Uh, it's a reasonable sized field, but it's uh, small enough so that we can see kind of all of the elements happening at the same time. Now before I go any further, if you do enjoy the videos that I make, then don't forget to give them a like because that really does help the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, then it'd be great if you could do so. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Now for our equipment today, we've got uh, the class combine with the draper header there. Um, I've just got a uh, regular dra um, grain trailer here. We've got uh, John Deere. Uh, linked up to our class square baler and then we've got a couple of options for bale collecting as well we've got our, our Qsin auto stat which I really like and um, is pretty kind of realistic um, and then we've also got a Roland auto load bale trailer now before we go and set up a course, uh, there's a couple of other things that I just want to go through in terms of the basic course play menus. Um, so if I just go into the menus here, um, you can see that we've kind of got the regular active workers screen here. Um, and then underneath we've got a cog here for some global settings as well. Um, now uh, you can do this two ways. You can either go and jump in a vehicle or you can go onto the map and click on it. And as you can see, that brings up a few other options uh, down here in the left hand navigation. Um, we've got one uh, for specific vehicles settings uh, we've got those global settings again and then we've also got one for course manager um, now if I just go into the vehicle settings and now this is specifically for each vehicle so in this case the combine there are some options here that you can adjust and um, amend um, now they're fairly kind of um, uh, straightforward and they do have some uh, descriptions that are down the side here that actually explain kind of what they are um, but uh, some of the most important ones um, particularly for the combine um, I think are uh, where you uh, will raise your tools and I've got those set to late so we will pick up late um, and it will drop down early that's important i think in terms of not being able to miss any crop um, and in terms of the actual kind of test today or the tutorial that we're doing today um, there are a couple of the other sort of general combine settings are equally important now always unfold the pipe um, when a combine is full and waiting for the unloader i've got that activated um, stop while unloading i've also got that activated um, and combine self unload now this is a really important kind of new feature as well that basically when the combine is full he will then stop and drive off to the nearby trailer to unload himself and then he will resume his work once he's unloaded um, now the other option on here um, is to unload on first headland now I've got that deactivated at the moment I've tested that a couple of times and nothing seems to happen it's supposed to call the unloader of the trailer on the first headland for it to come round and meet the combine so it can unload. But I've tried that a couple of times. That hasn't seemed to have worked and it might be that that's still kind of under development at the moment. And then last but not least, um, I've also got straw swath activated. Now the remaining settings at the bottom of the menu here I have kind of left as is. We haven't got any multiple tools, we're only running one combine um, and all of the speed elements at the bottom I have left as is. Um, now if we go into um, the main global settings, uh, some fairly simple things here. Um, I, you've got an option to show all the active courses, I've got that deactivated at the moment. I put driver's wages, um, so that's what you'll pay your workers, I've got that set at 50% and there's an option for automatic repair so they um, repair the vehicle uh, whilst it's it's doing the work I've just um, set that to don't repair at the moment and then the other settings at the bottom I've just left as is now if we go into course manager um, I have set up a uh, specific folder here. You can press uh, your C button or click on this at the bottom to set up a folder. Um, and I've done one specifically for field six. So any activity that I do in course play for field six, I can put in this folder. Now to start setting up a specific course, I've got a couple of options. Um, I can either go and uh, get into the vehicle itself um, or I can uh, click on the menu here, go to the active workers screen and, and then I can um, click on the actual vehicle uh, on, the, uh, on the map itself. Once I'm here, I can then click to create jobs and that brings up a separate little menu over here on the right hand side. Um, now the regular field work is just if you were using a normal AI helper. Um, so we need to scroll through to uh, 
CP field work, so course play field work. Um, we've got the vehicle type here. I need to set a target position. Um, so I'm going to go to the edge of the um, uh, field here. I'm just going to turn that around so it's facing the right direction. Um, and then I'm going to open up the course play uh, generator. Now this brings me um, some specific options. The working width is automatically set to the width of the header uh, for the combine. Um, gives me the option to do field center, whether I want to do up or down, uh, spiral, racetrack, um, or do land work. Uh, I'm gonna leave that up and up, up and down. Um, headland corners, you've got a few options here as well. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on um, smooth, and I'm gonna do three times around the headland as well. So this is kind of very similar to how course play used to be in FS19. Going to head in the clockwise direction. Um, I'm going to do the uh, leave the headland overlap as seven uh, percent. Um, not going to skip any rows. Uh, don't need to do that with the combine, and we're not doing any land work, so that really doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to start on the headland work, so that's fine. We're only got a uh, single combine, not multiple tools. Um, so the rest of these settings I'm going to leave as is. And then all I need to do is click on the generate fieldwork course. Now, as you can see, um, the course has just appeared um, in the field there, and I've got my start point. So I'm going to come out of the menu, back into the combine. Uh, I'll go and jump in. And if I right click my mouse button now, that will bring up the specific vehicle menu. Um, and as you can see, it just states temporary course at the moment. Um, and ordinarily, you could just hit the play button and the vehicle would get underway. But what I need to do first is I need to save this course now because I need the baler to use exactly the same course. And that's really important. So to save the course, uh, all I need to do is go back into the menu. I'm going to go down to the course manager. Um, there you can see my folder that I've created. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to either hit my X key or I'm going to click on save course. I need to hit activate and that will enable me to save it. And I'm going to call this um, class combine and baler. And I'm going to click OK. So that's stuck there in terms of the actual course itself. Um, and I'll come back out of the menu and now I can uh, get on and uh, start doing the actual combining work itself. Okay, so I've just positioned the uh, combine at the edge of the field here. Don't really need to, but um, uh, I just thought that might kind of make things easier. Um, and you can see uh, there are little kind of start arrow uh, that we've got in terms of our opening position. Now, um, having pressed my right hand mouse key, it's brought up the little menu uh, down here at the bottom. Now, the first thing I need to do is change that to first waypoint. You can see that we've got the course loaded of class combine and baler. And the only thing I need to do now is press the little start menu, combine or fire up. Um, now, he's going to run over a little bit of the crop but we haven't got crop destruction on so that's not too much of a problem um, and I think when they first start off um, it, uh, the straw swath won't be enabled until it kind of gets past the start point so um, you might see a little bit of spreading here just initially then it turns itself off you can see that it drops the um, uh, the tail there um, and now we've got the straw swath coming out so that's all good now a little menu down the bottom here um, I can kind of slide this around all over the place um, sometimes I just sort of drop it slightly off screen so I can still see it um, uh, but if not, uh, you can hit the X key, just get rid of it completely now. Um, if I want to bring it back in, then I can just hit my mouse, uh, my right mouse, mouse key. Um, now, if you've got auto drive on, I think that right hand mouse key um, also brings up that menu as well. So you might need to kind of reconfigure um, some of your buttons if need be. But um, I'm just going to hide that for the time being. Um, and uh, as you can see, he's cracking on with doing the headland work. So I'm going to let him get on with things. Um, hopefully he should make it all the way around. Uh, the field. Um, we've got 11,000 litre capacity in here so I think he'll probably be okay um, and the yield bonus on this field wasn't particularly brilliant uh, so I don't think we're probably going to get a massive yield off this but uh, um, I'm going to leave him to do this. I'm going to reposition the uh, tractor in the grain trailer and then also get the baler sorted out. Okay I'm just going to move him up into the actual field itself. Um, I don't think it kind of matters too much. It could be slightly off the field if need be, but uh, I will stick him on the edge of the field here, um, just kind of past uh, where the start point kind of was, um, and uh, but out of the way so uh, he won't get in the way of the baler. So I'm going to leave him there, um, and then I'll go and get the baler sorted out, although I don't want to start him just yet. I kind of want to allow the combine to um, get ahead of itself, maybe complete all of the three headlands before the baler starts following up. 
Okay, I'll just leave him there for the time being um, and uh, wait for the combine to kind of get round. You can see him down on the bottom edge there, just running along uh, by the line of trees. Um, so he's probably 50% of the way round now, or almost. Uh, so we'll go and catch up with him, see how much he's uh, got in the grain tanks here, what he's doing. Um, just to double check to make sure that he will make his, uh, his way all the way round here. Right, we're moving on quite nicely, just over 50% full now, um, so uh, hopefully he will make it all the way around. I think he probably will do, um, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, so that's good, and uh, uh, no nothing too much more that I kind of need to do. Um, hopefully when he gets around to the top um, and he kind of gets full, we'll be able to then uh, observe him sort of stopping in his position and uh, then working his way over to the trailer and doing his automatic unload. Okay, so he's worked his way back round. Uh, he's just started the uh, second headland, as you can see. He's driven past the tractor and trailer. Um, but uh, you can see the little mound of um, grain there, kind of in the top of the grain tank there. So I think he'll probably stop any minute now. Um, and there we go. Uh, and then hopefully he'll kind of back up and he will find his way over to the trailer and start unloading. Um, now, uh, you could of course uh, unload the combine kind of on the move if you wanted to um, but uh, I'm doing this to show you how the combine will make its way over to the trailer um, and unload and then kind of resume his work afterwards so if you wanted to kind of leave a combine in a field just getting on with things and um, harvesting the field and everything as long as you've got a trailer uh, positioned in here then you can uh, do that and you can just leave a trailer if you want to don't have to have a tractor attached to it and I'll maybe show you that a little bit later on um, and obviously when they start doing the um, uh, the main kind of up and down rows uh, you can position the tractor and trailer or just the trailer in an appropriate position that's kind of fairly close to them and then just kind of move it over as and when you need to um, so I'm not linked into auto drive or anything else at that's all I purely wanted to demonstrate the course play elements um, and uh, I kind of like doing some of the work anyway it's nice to um, uh, you know kind of do the grain cart and then you can kind of just keep an eye on how the field is uh, progressing from a harvesting point of view so he's going to finish up here shortly um, and then hopefully he will trundle off and resume uh, that second headland work Okay, so uh, unload completed, off he goes. Um, the uh, unloading auger should fold back in again um, and he'll go back up and pick up uh, on the work um, uh, where he left off. Now, if you did arrive back in the field um, and you decided that you wanted to unload the combine yourself before you park the trailer up, uh, then you could, of course, do that. All you need to make sure that you do is um, uh, deactivate the stop while unloading um, so the combine sort of carries on moving. You can unload on the move. So um, do be mindful that you need to change that setting if that's the sort of thing that you might want to do. Okay, uh, so the combine has now finished uh, its third lap round the headland um, and he's uh, just hopefully going to start doing the up and down rows as well. Um, I've emptied the trailer out, um, that was almost full and I've parked that over that side of the field um, so it's a bit more convenient for the combine to get to. Um, so I need to sort the baler out um, and uh, first things first we'll just have a quick look in the settings again. Okay, so um, these are specifically for the baler now. Um, so I've kind of left the, left the basic uh, settings as they are, and I think some of the most important ones um, are all uh, kind of activating the turning on field, avoid driving in fruit, um, reverse, uh, allowing reverse uh, for pathfinder, etc. Um, that kind of makes sure that you are sort of contained within the field and you don't get any collisions with obstacles, those sorts of things. Um, now I think everything else is kind of okay um, in here in terms of field work speed. Um, I, I'll get onto that when we kind of start because you might want to nudge that down a little bit uh, with the risk of um, sort of catching up um, with the combine. Now I need to go into the course um, and the first thing I need to do is actually load that class and combine um, baler course itself. Um, so I'm going to click on the um, button down the bottom there. I'm going to click activate um, and then I'll come back out of the menu and as you can see we've got our little arrow that's appeared sort of in front of us. Um, I've uh, unpacked the baler and everything so it's all ready to go. If I right click my mouse uh, there you can see that we've got the class combine and baler um, and nearest waypoint. Um, so I'm going to change that to first waypoint. Now you've got a couple of options I guess in terms of the baler itself. Um, uh, I can either start uh, and sort of copy the, the route that the combine has done. Um, so we do the headlands first and then we get onto the actual kind of um, uh, the rows themselves. Uh, or um, if you want to try and avoid tripping over bales that are in the headland, uh, then sometimes it might be more sensible to actually do the up and down rows um, and then do the headland last. But um, uh, you'd have to obviously wait for the combine to kind of get ahead you a fair bit um, before you start doing that. So I think for ease uh, today, what I'm probably going to do um, is uh, 
copy the kind of or follow the same route that the combine did we'll do the headlands first um so uh just on the menu here we've got the um uh the course loaded um i've got first waypoint um i've unloaded the bowler um, so he's all set to go i'm going to press the little uh, play button there um i'll just move that kind of down and out the way um and you can see the combine over there in the distance he's um unloading again into the trailer so that's good he's kind of following his little routine um and uh, the bailer is off here now kind of underway and you can see that we've started to collect a little bit of straw now so that's good um now uh, the baler travels at 17 kilometers per hour the combine obviously only travels at 10 kilometers per hour um, so you do need to be mindful um, of the fact that the baler could potentially catch the combine up especially as the combine is going to stop and run off to the trailer and unload um, and then carry on his work so um, there is that kind of risk so you need to leave a little bit of a gap um, between sort of starting the baler I guess and um, uh, running on after the combine now as you can see um, with course play when we get into the kind of corners and things like that um it's even a bit inevitable um that you might end up kind of missing certain bits um it doesn't really matter which kind of corner style that you sort of choose um there's always a risk that the combine will miss a little bit um and of course when the baler follows up with the straw coming out the back of the combine as he swings around that corner he creates quite a wide arc so i think it's inevitable that um you'll end up with a few little misses here and there um but uh, in the scheme of things not too much for you to have to go back and tidy up uh, so here we are, Combine's nicely working on his own, um, the baler is off uh, working on his own as well. Um, so I can kind of run grain cart while all of this is happening and then once we've got a few bales in the field I'll have the opportunity to get the bale loader sorted out as well. Now bale size I've got it set at uh, the 220 centimetre setting um, which is the kind of mid-range setting so um, uh, I guess we probably won't hopefully we won't end up with too many on the headland um, with a bit of a risk that um, uh, something kind of might go into them but uh, as soon as we get a reasonable amount of bales I will get the bale um, loader kind of sorted out we're going to use the um, Arcusin auto stack to start with um, and then at some point I'll swap over and just use that uh, Roland auto load bale trailer as well just to see um, so you can see that as a potential option um, but um, uh, these two as you can see are kind of working away quite nicely um, so fairly sort of independent uh, and um, uh, like I said you can kind of run uh, the grain cart to and from the farm if you need to and um, all of this work can carry on quite nicely um, and it uh, really does speed up the process of getting your harvesting done and your baling done so the last piece of the puzzle, so to speak, um, is doing the bale loading and this is pretty straightforward. Um, all I need to do is uh, bring the vehicle onto the field itself. Um, I right click my mouse, bring that up and then I just need to navigate through um, uh, collect bales or wrapping um, and hit that play button again and he will gradually go off and start hunting for bales. Um, so um, now this um, Arcusin auto stack, um, you'll probably know from using it yourself that uh, when it approaches a bale it kind of does slightly reposition the actual bale itself into the um uh, into the kind of picker unit there um, so that does help now there is uh, the four stack using uh, unit from Arcusin as well now that doesn't seem to work um, you have to kind of drive fairly square on onto those bells in order for that to be able to kind of pick that up um, now it's inevitable when you're out in the field and you've got several vehicles all kind of working under their own steam um, that you might get a few uh, kind of clashes so I did sort of just jump in the tractor there um, stop that from doing its automated work and uh, I just backed up out of the way of the combine um, now if you need to do that um, you'll control controls for kind of accessing um, the vehicle or starting it up again um, like you would with a normal AI helper you would hit your H key um, for the course plate worker you would do control and H um, or the other alternative is that you can right click your mouse you can bring that little menu up again um, just make sure that the settings are correct and then just hit the play button or um, to start it or hit the play button to stop the vehicle so he's now trundling off. I'm not, not operating this at all myself. Um, so uh, he is off trying to find kind of little bales himself. Um, and I can kind of quite happily leave him to get on with this task. Um, but like I said, you might kind of, um, with several vehicles working in the field, you can see that the combine, the baler and the bale collector are all working independently now. Um, there is a risk that they might kind of meet up and clash into each other. So you do need to keep a little bit of an eye on them. Um, but it does save you a huge amount of time um, having uh, course play kind of run all these three tasks uh, for you. 
Now you might find as well um, that uh, when it's got several kind of bales, I guess within its sort of target uh, view, so to speak, um, that it might kind of meander around the field a little bit, trying to figure out which one it's going to pick up first, um, especially if uh, some of them are sort of quite close together. But um, uh, it's pretty accurate. I'm guessing there's quite a lot um, sort of going on in the background um, in order for it to kind of be able to find these bales and uh, collect them. But um, I think uh, this is a big kind of step forward for course play um, and being able to kind of do this sort of work. So uh, it really does make quite a big difference. So with these improvements to course play, uh, I kind of thought this sort of harvest time uh, would be a good demonstration of how all of those elements can kind of work quite successfully together. Um, and if you, um, uh, you know, kind of if you're running seasons, I think particularly, and you're kind of operating on um, say three days per calendar month or something like that, and you own quite a bit of land, um, then harvest time can be very, very busy getting all of your tasks done. Um, so being able to kind of automate uh, quite a lot of that now um, with these different functions is going to be very important. Um, and I think particularly, um, I think, you know, we kind of could maybe do a bit of um, uh, bailing with uh, course playing in FS19. Um, I never did it, but um, uh, I kind of think some people kind of did try it and, uh, and had some success with that. But being able to kind of do your bailing, um, having an, uh, a self-unload facility for the combine, so that can kind of just get on with work. Um, and particularly with having the bale collecting in this way um, really is going to save you a huge amount of time. Um, so I think this is a big step forward forward for course play. Um, now I know it's still in development, there's still a few things that they are ironing out, um, but I'm sure in the fullness of time uh, we will see this kind of appear on the mod hub properly. But in the meantime you will of course be able to get it from uh, GitHub um, and I will put a link in the description for you um, and uh, that will ensure that you kind of get the latest version. There are um, versions of uh, course play that have appeared on various other mod sites but I wouldn't recommend going to them. Um, now uh, the other thing is um, once your bale loader here is kind of um, uh, full up you'll get the kind of usual um, uh, sort of AI help and stop working menu and then you will need to kind of go and manually empty your bales. Now the only slight downside with this um, Coos in Arto stack um, as you get a fairly tall stack of bales um, and in this uh, case they won't actually fit into the um, uh, the bale uh, shed there um, so I'm going to dump them on the side just in front of the little caravan here and I'll have to sort those out a little bit later. Um, now I haven't tried um, this with the equivalent kind of round bale collector uh, I'm probably going to do a separate video on um, uh, sort of doing some grass work and things like that um, with um, bale wrapping um, but uh, hopefully that will kind of show you the equivalent results. So the last thing I wanted to show you is with the um, Roland uh, auto bale collector here. Now I just need to make sure that I do collecting or wrapping bales um, and then I can hit the play button and uh, off it will go and start finding the bales and loading those automatically. Um, now I know that there's uh, uh, options for auto load trailers in both the Roland pack and the Ponge pack. Um, uh, looks like he's, he's going to pick this one off the back of the baler. There we go, that's great. Um, so you have got a few kind of options there and um, uh, with the Arcusin auto stack that gives you something that's a little bit more realistic perhaps um, and as I said I did try that sort of um, four stack uh, Arcusin option um, there's sort of two variants of that one for small 120 bales and um, then there's another one for um, uh, the kind of larger 180 through to 220 bales uh, or 240 bales um, size but um, I couldn't get that to work because you have to drive onto the bales fairly uh, straight on it didn't to kind of seem to um, auto position them at all uh, but you've still got a couple of good options in terms of doing your bale collecting. Okay so that's it for the video. Um, I hope you found that interesting and uh, a good way of being able to kind of demonstrate some of the new features in course play for FS22 um, and uh, as you can see we've kind of cleared our field, harvested it and cleared it of straw and bales um, with the equipment um, that we've kind of used today which is pretty much kind of everyday stuff. Um, in about the same time I'm guessing that it would have taken you to um, just combine the field on your own and take all of the grain back to your farm. Um, so that's it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please feel free to do so. So take care, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, stay safe, and I will catch you on the farm next time. Bye for now. <laughs>